Egypt is constructing a $4.5 billion monorail. Construction projects in Africa are taking a new route with many multi-billion dollar projects either being completed or launched throughout the continent. These projects span from small infrastructural schemes like railways amongst many others to much bigger and long-term plans like smart city innovations. In this video, we will take a detailed look into one of Africa's multi-billion dollar projects, specifically in Cairo, the capital city of Egypt. Egypt, being one of the richest and most technologically advanced countries in Africa, has been mentioned quite a number of times when talking about major projects and growth around Africa. From the innovation of a new capital city to the construction of a $4.5 billion monorail, this country is stunning the minds of many with the exhibition of new projects. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. The Monorail Project the first monorail, with a total length of 54 kilometers, is being built in Egypt's new administrative capital, Cairo, and for the first time in this country, passengers in cargo will soon be able to travel through the desert atop a high-speed train. The $4.5 billion worth Cairo monorail project was laid by construction giant Oraskam Construction, which is listed on the Egyptian Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq, in collaboration with its Canadian partner Bombardier. This huge project will bring a revolution to Egypt's transportation sector which will combine the inherent environmental protection characteristics of monorail with smart modern design. This will help reduce pollution rates and traffic congestion while uniting the city, Oraskam stated. Design and construction of two monorail lines In August 2019, Oraskam, in cooperation with Arab contractors and Bombardier Transportation, signed an agreement with the Cairo National Tunnel Authority to design and build two monorail lines in Egypt. The first monorail will extend 54 kilometers from East Cairo to the new administrative capital, while the second 42 kilometers long line will connect Giza city to Seath of October. Well, to clear the confusion, Seath of October is a satellite city in the Giza governorate, which is part of the urban area of Cairo, about 32 kilometers outside the city. This is the first public transportation line connecting Greater Cairo with the new capital and the city of October Seath and will greatly increase the mobility of Egyptian citizens. When the maximum passenger capacity is reached, the two lines will be able to transport approximately 45,000 passengers per hour in each direction. The running speed will be as high as 80 km per hour, with a travel time of about 60 minutes on the new capital route and about 6 minutes on the October Seath route. According to data from Bombardier Transportation, the two railway lines, after operating at full capacity, will transport nearly 45,000 passengers in each direction every hour. This means the line will be capable of transporting more than 30 million people every year, saving up to 50% of travel time. The line will also connect both sea and dry ports, improving efficiency of cargo movement, thereby increasing cargo transported on rails by approximately 15%. Kamel El Wazi, Egyptian Minister of Transport in a press release said, The high-speed train will strengthen the infrastructure of the areas it passes through and help achieve urban sprawl. Egypt's Ministry of Transport announced that the first phase of the monorail connecting the new administrative capital with the Greater Cairo is set up to open on May 2022. A statement made by the ministry said that the first phase of the project starts from the depot site in the new administrative capital until the station of Al Moshi Mosque in Nasa city at about 45 km long. The monorail sector of the new administrative capital is being implemented in two parallel phases. According to the statement, the second phase of the new administrative capital monorail will extend from the station of the Al Moshi Mosque to the stadium station with a length of about 11.5 kilometers and is planned to open in February 2023. Why is the monorail being constructed? This project is of great importance, not just in civil and cargo transportation, but will also help to boost the economy of Egypt if properly managed and maintained. Furthermore, the projects will link Greater Cairo with the new urban areas and cities in the east, which are the new Cairo and the new administrative capital. These projects will contribute to facilitating the movement of employees and visitors from Cairo and Giza to new Cairo and the new administrative capital. In a speech made by the Minister of Transport, Kamel El Wazi, he said the projects will integrate with the third metro line at the stadium station in Nazo City and with the electric train at City of Art Station in the new administrative capital. This monorail project is the first of its kind in Egypt, he said, and will represent a great cultural shift in mass transportation. 
He explained that this type of transportation is fast, modern, safe environmentally and friendly, and saves fuel consumption, reduces environmental pollution rates, relieves traffic jams on main access and streets, and attracts passengers to use them instead of private cars. Funding of the monorail project The financing of this project was provided by commercial banks with JP Morgan as facility agent and the UK Export Finance guaranteeing the largest amount of financing it has ever provided for an overseas infrastructure project. Partners and contractors involved in the monorail project Oraskam Construction will design and build the infrastructure and civil works, including stations, guideways and the ports. Bombardier will supply 74 car monorail trains, as well as a control center and all of the power and communication systems. It will also handle project management. Bombardier's share of the contract is estimated to be worth around $2.85 billion, while Oraskam's share has been estimated at around $900 million. The partnership will run and maintain these two production lines for 30 years once the construction is completed. Conclusion In summary, the 4.5 billion US dollars monorail project is the first of its kind in North Africa and includes two lines, a 43 km long rail line set to extend from 6th of October City to Giza and a 54 km rail line connecting Cairo's new administrative capital to Nazo City. This will be the first mass transit links between Greater Cairo, the new capital and 6th of October city. Work includes building 34 stations, maintenance facilities, the ports and an operations control center. There you have it, explorers. Everything you need to know about Egypt's $4.5 billion monorail. Let us know your thoughts about this multi-billion dollar project in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share with a friend.